Hi, my name is Jovi, and welcome back to Kids Corner. Grancy is coming over right now. Okay, I was gonna wait, but I'll come right now. So Jovi, we're on you. Yes, you, you. for unconditional love. Wow, that's a big word. Do you Un know what unconditional love is? I do, do you? Yes. Okay, let's give them a little thing. I, we can't hear you, but you probably got it right. But you wanna tell know. them? All those who didn't know, who were thinking, it is, so you know all of your grandparents, your ancestors, your mom and dad, of course, and especially God, Jesus, they all love you so much, right? But even when we do wrong, yeah, they even love when us. We do wrong. Okay. And that's unconditional love. That's exactly right. Your parents still love you, even though you have to get consequences or do something wrong. Okay, unconditional. And un means not, right? Yes. So not conditional. That means that your parents don't say, I'm only going to love you if you clean up your room. That's not, That's not unconditional that's love. That's really bad. That's really bad. And God doesn't say, I'm only going to love you if you never sin. Oh, everybody sins. Everybody sins. So that last video, go check it out. Right. If you haven't seen it. That's right. So unconditional love is those people in our lives who love us even when we're kind of unlovable. Yeah. Right? If, like, so your friends wouldn't like you if you did something wrong that they didn't like. Right. They wouldn't be your friend anymore. Lots but, of friends say that, don't they? Yeah, but then they're your friend. And right? what's the word again? Let's tell them again. Un, wait, three, two, one. Unconditional, Unconditional love. Right. So let's read. I'm going to read a scripture out of First John. Okay. Four sixteen. Okay. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. Kind of nice, right? Yeah. Okay. God is... So let's see if anybody doesn't get this. We'll try to explain it. Start here. So God is love. Everybody thinks that... Everybody knows, probably, that God loves you, so... He's probably just love. He's probably love. Right. I used to, when I was in VPK, I used to call him a, lo a floating heart for some reason. <laughs> That's cute, a floating heart. What does it mean, whoever lives in love? How do you live in love? Um, living in like a happy, loving, like okay, nice family. All right, and loving other people, yeah. being kind to other people. So if you live in love, you live in God. You live in God, and God lives in you. Right. But he lives in your heart. He lives in your heart, and we all want that, don't we? Yeah. We all want that. So that's what that scripture means. So we need to make a goal, don't we? Yeah. To have unconditional love, even when people make you so mad. You just want to. You don't want to say, I don't love you anymore. Oh, that that's means, hurtful. Yeah, because then you're going to then your friends wouldn't love you anymore either. And may, you know, I don't know if we've ever done a video on this, but there's a story in the Bible about unconditional love called the prodigal son. Yes. Prodigal means run away and come back. Mm -hmm. So there was a family and the father had two sons and the older son decided he wanted to take all of his inheritance. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. In a video? Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to check. The oldest son wanted all his money and he wanted to go live his own life. And the father mm -hmm. said, okay. okay, all right, gave him his money. The son left, left he off, spent all his money. Everything came back. Everything, and then he had nothing. Yeah. So, so he went he, back he to went his back dad and, said, and Dad, I have nothing left. He said, your son, you, you're back. And then he decided, the dad decided to have a whole entire party for him coming back. Right, and the younger son had stayed home the whole time, doing the what, fields. Doing what the dad asked him to. And so Working had in the, the fields, cleaning up the house, doing everything. Maybe if they had a cat, he had to feed the cat or, or like 
take care of the cat or anything right. like that. And so how did the young son? He felt really, really mad and confused because he he didn't the, understand. The how older, can you still love the him? The older right? brother just went off. The older brother went off, spent it all his money that the dad gave him, and came back. I mean, and the younger brother came came up to him and said, I've been doing all this work for you. Why are you celebrating a party for him and right. not me? So question for you. The father and the young son, who had unconditional love? The dad. The dad did. Did the brother? No. No? No. Not at that time. Maybe later, right? Yeah. Okay, let's pray. All right? Dear God, Lord, thank you so much for your unconditional love because so many times we don't deserve it, but yet you forgive us and we just know, Lord, that you're always going to be there. And thank you for parents and family members that show us unconditional love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. I'm going to go Amen. turn it off. I want to turn say, it off. Okay, you turn it off. And I'll say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Unconditional love. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I can't bye. leave. Um, bye.